Hey everybody, it's Dick Ziggin, the unelected mayor of Coney Island, keeping my promise. Can you believe this is my 14th weekly State of Coney Island address? We're wrapping up the first season. So you know we started up in the museum making health announcements. We went outdoors. We did the Black Lives Matter march. We did Gay Pride. We did not the Mermaid Parade. Today, as we wrap up our first season, um, I would like to bring it focus back to Coney Island, USA. I started doing this when the pandemic hit, first week of March, and we closed our doors. Today's our, our doors are open. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Lori Lieber. Coney Hi. Island, USA gift shop manager. Hi, Lori. Hi, Dick. How are you? Okay, so I'm excited that I believe you got a test print of the Mermaid Parade t-shirt. Woo! That's right. Um, but this is not what people will get. This was a test for you from the printer? That's right. So this is what will be on the front of the t-shirt. And uh, in the future, on the back, will be our Mermaid Parade logo. And if somebody wants to order one, can they buy it today or what do they have to do? Well, you go to our website, ConeyIsland.com, go to the gift shop and you can order it there. Just know that this is a pre-order and we're going to start shipping out the shirts on August 10th. Is there other new merchandise? Uh, do you have mugs? Can you get a shot of her? Yeah, yep, there's a mug there. I guess I'm trying to decide between, oops. Whoa. I'm trying to decide between this mug or that mug. Uh, I'm working on some Coney Island USA masks, trying to figure out which one will be the best. So there's a lot going on in the store. And how are you surviving, Lori? You know, one day at a time, just trying to stay positive and take this time to reorganize everything. So if you love Coney Island USA and the work that we do, this is an easy way that you can support the arts in Coney Island. ConeyIsland.com is our website. You can find the gift shop there. You can find my weekly speeches there. Please support. Great, thank you. So because the parade has been unfortunately canceled in the public setting this year. Um, I feel like Coney Island USA is always very socially conscious and we wanted to do a response about what's been happening over the past few months in New York and also all over the world. So we wanted to give a little bit of a tribute to um, the first responders, EMTs, nurses, doctors, hence her tattoos on the side, and the fact that everybody is going through COVID-19, hence the seashell mask. Um, and the face mask that everyone can relate to. And also we wanted to um, acknowledge and support the huge Black Lives Matter movement going on. So um, I felt that it was very important to change the demographic of the typical Disney imagery of what a mermaid is like and make it a super inclusive mermaid. So we also um, decided to feature a black mermaid this year in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. So it's kind of a combination of just, and a response to everything that's been going on for the past few months. And hopefully it'll be like a benchmark in the history of the Mermaid Parade uh, t-shirts. And um, people can look back and kind of remember what happened this year really, and not have it be so negative and more of like looking at it in what can we do moving forward and moving past all of this? Island, USA, uh, we can't let people upstairs yet. We're in phase three, but we do have a sidewalk cafe. Do you mind if I talk to you on camera? Not at no, all. not at all. Um, so this is Linda and Dave. Hi. Hi, um, everybody. They, I consider you regulars, are you not? Yes, we Pretty are. Much. Are oh. you members of Coney Island yeah. USA? Yes, we are. Not yet, but we support it. So okay. I'm an artist. So what so. do you like about Coney Island USA? What programs Other than everything. are you uh, Well, the, I like burlesque. I like all the performances. Uh, mm -hmm. Pop art. It's just a great place. The atmosphere, the ambiance, the, uh, the, the culture, the cachet. 
and it's relaxing, very relaxing, anything goes. Anything goes. And it's classy also, I think, very classy. For me, it's very classy. Uh, I enjoy being here almost more than anywhere no else. Prejudice. I'd rather be in here uh, than a fancy restaurant. Are you scared to be here today? Not at all. No. A little. I'm wearing my mask. No, I mean, not at all. Life has changed right now. Not. That's a fact. But I'm willing to see it halfway and go with the changes. I can't give everything up, and I'm not giving up Coney Island. So, um, there's two questions I want to ask everybody today. Question number one, when the doors open, what would you like to see happen? For instance, if in August we allowed five people at a time to go to the museum, would you be comfortable up in the, mu in the museum? Yes, I would. definitely. Okay. Oh, yes. I miss going up there. Even though I've been there, it just is always something I don't see. There's so much to see, and there's... One thing, I, I just, I miss it. Inside here, I miss it. Okay. So the other question I want to ask everybody, and it's going to be tricky for me, because I see Dave's drinking a hard seltzer, <laughs> Linda's drinking a white wine. My question is, do you like beer? You're here at the free park. Oh, yes. Yes, love beer. Uh, I like the dark beer. I'm a dark beer drinker. Uh, today, I just was wanted to try something different, so I went for the hard seltzer. Black cherry, refreshing. Well, I might switch over to a beer. Well, I'm a wino, so I like uh -huh. the wine that you have here. It's nice, dry. I think it's Pinot Grigio. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. But it's very good. It's refreshing. It's cold. And I'm comfortable. The sun is in. That's a good thing. Right. Anything so, you're dying to say to the fans uh, of Coney Island, USA? Yes. Yeah, come, come visit. Come That's down why we came. The, I know some people are, and we've been, we're following the guidelines. Can't come down. Everything you is, folks live on Long Island. Island. Long Island. I'm in Nassau, Nassau County. County. But I came here as a child with my father almost every I've weekend. Been coming but here. during the pandemic, if you've gone oh, out yeah. much, or this is I walk the around person. the neighborhood no, no, and no. you don't go out much. Other than supermarkets, uh, and uh, that's about it. And where I work, uh, fix motorcycles, generators. Was also for the fire department and the police department, so we're essential. But that we're, we're uh, social distance in the shop, and it's, uh, it's, it's all Honda products. Uh, Champion Honda, you know, it's in Hicksville, and we work on the fire department's generators. The, some of the beaches in Westchester County, or the quads, we work on, and motorcycles. So people get have to commute on motorcycles and scooters, and we're the people that fix them. Now we're in, in phase three, the showroom's allowed to be open, like here, social distancing, you come down, but the salesmen are selling air, so the bikes aren't here yet because everything's been held up, but when they do come in, they sold everything out that's on the floor. People want to ride. I ride, personally ride a Harley, but a Honda's okay, uh, they're the good products, and other than that, uh, this is the getaway. This is where, I've been coming here since the 50s. And yes, road, even the, the steeplechase horses around Steeplechase Park when I was a little tyke. My father used to bring the whole family here. He brought the police boys club. He brought everybody down. Hey, Dave, Dave could we get a close-up of the tattoo? Oh, yeah, that's my funny perfect. face. Yeah. And here's my tribute to Coney. The, uh, here's the uh, cyclone, the wonder wheel, and the parachute jump. Enjoy your drinks. Thank We're going to move on to another table. Well, thank right, you thank for you coming you tonight. Enjoying our outdoor sidewalk cafe in the free park. I, I am enjoying the outdoor sidewalk cafe because usually I can't bring my beer out the front door here and watch the parade, where is a good place to, where I usually watch the parade from. The Mermaid Parade, of course, we're referring to. But uh, this is always the first stop. So me. I assume you like. Coney Island and you like beer. And I like the free bar. Okay. You know, Dick, I, you, you're the guy, you're the reason that Coney Island came back, in my opinion. Thank you. So, uh, I was telling... So, but I work with a lot of other people here. It's not just me. I understand There's that. lots of programs, from the kids' programs to burlesque on the other end. What do you personally miss? What do you want us to bring back as soon as possible? 
Well, of course, the thing you'd want to bring back as soon as possible is the freak show and, you know, be able to go to the museum because you've got a great museum here. Very interesting. I've been coming to New York. I'm originally from Virginia. I live in Virginia now again. Uh, but I love Coney Island. I've always loved Coney Island. It's got great memories for me. And like I said, the freak show is always fun. I've been fortunate to be in a band that's played here several times, a couple of bands. Um, you what bands? Uh, the Blind Pharaohs and Graveyard Slut. Oh. And uh, so, you know, I, I just, this is always my first stop off the train because it, I feel comfortable here. I get a buzz on, then I go up to the boardwalk and hang out and do whatever I want, walk around, if I do any rides or anything. But this is, you know, the freak show is the anchor for me. So we're trying to reconnect with our audience that we've been missing for four months. If, so New York City's in phase three, um, and it seems like this is comfortable and not scary. This is when we get to phase four, we're not sure how we reopen. So let's say in August, if we're allowed to, if we were to allow five people at a time in the museum, would that feel safe to you upstairs? I think five people in the museum because you'd be able to socially distance. Okay. It's about, you know, the way you walk around the museum, you're able to see everything and be, you know, as long, if there's only five people, then definitely you could social distance, yep. you know, especially if maybe two of those people were together even more. So I, you know, I, I think, you know, you have to be cautious and you have to be aware of what you do. But I think, you know, you have to start living your life again and take certain chances based on the science of rate of transmission and that, you know, you know, New York has got it under control for now. We'll see how that plays out. The same thing with so the far. I think Coney Island's got it a lot more together than Florida, the Hamptons, or Fire Island. Again, those people just act like idiots because they think they're <laughs> normally the idiots are here. How did we get so mature in Coney Island? <laughs> no, well, I'm saying when you're in a situation like that, listen, you're going to come to Coney Island not just for the freak bar. I just want to come out and hang out for the day outside the city. And if you guys were open, have a beer here, you know, support you guys because, like I said, this is my favorite place in Coney Island, you know. More famous, I love this place more than Ruby's, which is everybody else's go to place for whatever, you know. But I it's love on the Ruby's, boardwalk. yeah. You know, and I like Ruby's, don't get me wrong. I'll go there because it's Ruby's it's called it's on the beer boardwalk. bar hopping, is it not? It is, <laughs> it is absolutely what you do. Uh -huh. Again, it's my favorite place, so, you know, not to overemphasize that, but. You know, you can't, without the attractions here, it's hard to get people out. Um, to me, Well, the is, main attraction is the ocean. Atlantic Ocean. I went in three times yesterday. You know, I, I think that's great. And I think, I, you know, I didn't plan to come out to swim today. Um, but yes, just to be here at Coney Island, having a beer outside. I like it out here. I like having this out here. I think this should be a permanent thing for you guys. Yep. You know? uh, it's you know? a landmark building with a sidewalk cafe. I think it's great. You know, so it's a, uh, you do what you can to, you know, I own a business in New York too, and I have no business because my inner business, most of my business is the entertainment industry. Broadway, um, we got TV. hit harder than any other industry. That's what we do. Of course, you know, and I'm a musician also, and I've missed out on hundreds of dollars worth of gigs here in Virginia, here in New York and in Virginia. So it's a, it's a tough time to, to see the future just because, you know, you're afraid what will happen, you know, when we have to close down again. Again, I'm from Virginia. We're in phase three also, which is a stronger phase than you guys because we're now allowed to have Phase two, you were allowed to have 25% uh, inside restaurants. Yep. And of course, all the bars there have to have. And I'm soda. not saying we're going to reopen the sideshow with a packed audience inside anytime soon, no. but I hope we can get the gift think, shop and museum. I, I think you, that's the kind of place, you know, it's, you know, being inside is different than being outside, obviously. So that's where you have a little more fear, but you have to, like I say, practice social distancing I think you know wear a mask it's not that much of a sacrifice you know you get 
little t hot, tired of it, but you know, if everybody does the right thing, then everybody could come back stronger, faster. And you know, it's hard to get everybody to do the right thing. One last thing, anything you want to say to the fans and followers of Coney Island USA? And then I'll let you get back to drinking. Uh, I would just say, come out, support the people you love as much as you can. It's lovely out here, and as Dick said, you still have the ocean. Go swimming, have a beer. It's not that scary out here. It's beautiful. It's gonna rain right now in storm, but if it's a beautiful day, you're in luck, and it's a safe. It's as safe as anywhere, if not safer. Right. Thank you so much for coming out today. Go back to your your own conversation. Um, Good luck. So, how long have you been in Coney Island? Oh, uh, all my life, uh, 50 some odd years. And you volunteer at our museum sometimes, don't you? Yes. Uh, what do you miss most about uh, Coney Island? Oh, the sideshow, the Wonder Wheel, the Cyclone, the Thunderbolt, the bumper cars, El Dorado Arcade, everything. Coney Island USA coming back and thank the three of you for being among our first customers oh. in the Sidewalk Cafe at the free bar we've never had before. <laughs> thank you. So first of all, are you all comfortable drinking here? Absolutely. And do you like beer? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. Who would you like beer? I love beer. Okay. And um, we are trying to reconnect with our fans, our members, our customers. Um, you're a very familiar <laughs> face. I believe you're also a member of the Polar Bear Club. I, I absolutely am. So you're Coney Island through and through. Um, what is it about Coney Island USA that keeps drawing you back? Is it just the free bar? Is it some of the other programs? It's all of the programs. It's all of the wonderful things that you guys do. It's the museum. It's kinship. It's all of my friends that work here and hang out here. And it's so special in the winter even to come down here and hang out. And yeah, I love you guys. This is great. Yeah. Well, for me, it's a sense of family. I mean, we you, know. You work in Coney Island. Oh, right. I'm right next. I'm two doors down from you. At so, the El Dorado. Oh, right. So it's a sense of family. It's a great place to get a drink. I like your bumper car zipping up the stairs. You know, everything you have. You know, the museum, the shows that I actually run into, the performers. It's just Coney Island. You bring back the best parts of Coney Island. Thank you. You do. From the boardwalk until. Surf Avenue, the best part of Coney Island. <laughs> the best part of Coney Island is right here. So we want to hear from you um, what would make you comfortable. We're in phase three right now. Yes. Phase four is within two weeks. If, for instance, we open the museum upstairs for a maximum of five people, would that be comfortable or would that still scare you to go indoors? I'd be comfortable with it. I would be comfortable with that as well. Yeah, I think it's self-policing. I really, you just, I, I think the kind of the kind of people who are going to come to see that kind of exhibit are going to, I think they're going to do the right thing, you know? Yes. Yeah, right. I think we would wipe down the handrails. We would wipe down Perfect. the bathroom anytime somebody used it. And I'm not saying when, I'm just trying to begin to start the conversation. I know we're not immediately going to jump into the sideshow and pack a hundred people close together screaming uh, at the human blockhead or the fire reason. That would be irresponsible, I know that. But how do we slowly ease back into it is the question today. I mean, I really got the right idea. Smaller crowds, let them grow eventually. Yeah. I mean, who knows? No one knows when this, you know, this virus is going to end. No one knows. But while it's here, let's be cautious. Let's take rubber gloves, kick gloves, I say. Let's use kick gloves. And you've always been a respectable establishment, as far as I know, for many years. I come. There's no trouble here. I've met perfect strangers here who, if I see in the street, feel like they're great friends of mine, and I met them right here at the freak bar. You know, we have, I mean, it's a family relationship here. I guess, slowly but surely, if you open up, 
you do the right thing. So, Lewis, what are you drinking? <laughs> well, right now I'm trying to cut back on the drinking. You want the water? You want the soft drink? Uh, Pepsi. I don't know if the Pepsi's on the menu. We have Coke. We Coke. have Coke. <laughs> One Coke coming right up for Lewis. <laughs> So that's it. That's a wrap on my 14th weekly State of Coney Island address. If you do come to the Sidewalk Cafe, I will be here, not in costume as the mayor, is Patrick's Back Bar. Hope to see you on Surf Avenue. Until next week.